So if I were to go around and access out the history from over here, or if you don't see the button over here, you can click on the three dot button and then go to history, just like this. Then you get the history option. So what you can do now is you can see that there are some duplicate histories right here. So you can go around and hide them out to save some space as well. So to do that, you need to click on the three dot button right here and then click on show duplicate pages. And you can see the duplicate pages over here just like this. But if I were to go around over here and then go to the three dot button and hide the duplicate pages, then the duplicate uh, pages will be hidden out right here, just like this. So that is what you have, as you can see. So you can show the duplicate pages right here. So you can see that th th these are the same pages or you can hide the duplicate pages over here, just like this. Now, if I were to go around and hover around on a particular um, a history right here, you can see that only a text pop up. But what I can also do is I can turn on the image on hover, meaning if I were to hover around, then you can see the image over here just like this. And if there's any image associated, then it'll pop up right here just like this, as you can see. So this is what you have, as you can see right here, and you can get more like an image right over here as well. You can go around and turn it back onto text by turning off image in hover and you see just the text that you can see just like this. So that is how you can uh, show duplicate pages and turn on image in hover option inside of Microsoft S. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.